Well, that's a wrap for the Superpower Tour in New South Wales, and I'm going to be coming back in August this year because there were so many schools that reached out to me that missed out this time and want me to come back. So I'm booking in a second one uh, in August this year, 2022, and I'm going to be coming back to do a whole bunch of schools that missed out this time around. It was a really great trip. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I did so many talks and I got a chance to catch up with some family and some friends. It's so great to see uh, this creation of the superpower talk, of turning a floor into a superpower. It's so great to see it uh, getting popular and being booked more and more. When I first started, I had no booking. I had no experience. I had no idea what I was doing and how I was doing it. And 12 months later, I'm flat out. I'm fully booked. And now I'm getting schools reaching out to me instead of me reaching out to the schools. It's really great to see something that you created grow and blossom into something big. I've never experienced that before because I've always had a full-time job. And I've experienced things where you get promotions and you get boosts in your career. and think that's great. But to start something from nothing... And to create something and watching it bloom and blossom is really rewarding. I've never been this proud of the work that I've actually done. When I was in TV, when I was in radio, when I was pursuing that career, it was quite self-orientated and it was quite selfish, if that makes sense. Because I was like, oh, look, I'm on TV, I'm on radio. But this keynote speaking career is, well, really, it's giving back. I'm, I'm, I'm giving back to people. And I loved uh, catching up with so many families and kids who have Tourette syndrome. As I gave my talk in the corporate world in Armadale this week, someone said, oh, what are you speaking about? And I said, oh, about Tourette syndrome. And then one guy looked at me and he goes, do you suffer? And I looked at him and I said, I have Tourette syndrome. But I wanted to like correct him and be like, hey, it's not suffering, man. It's just having it. Like, I don't like negativity around the word Tourette's. I think it's really important around the wording of whatever it is that you have. And yeah, it is suffering. Absolutely. You do suffer if you have Tourette's. But I just am a really big believer in putting nothing but positivity out there and related to yourself. You may disagree with me, and that is totally fine. That is absolutely cool. But my choice to use the words around whatever it is that I'm experiencing, that's my choice. And I'm a big believer of doing everything in your power to get ahead. Whatever it is that you can do, whether it's just going to fix 1% to improve your life, to, to better your existence, whatever it is, don't worry about everyone else. You take it. If you improved in 1% in 20 areas of your life, you're going to improve your life by 20%. Some people might disagree with me when it comes to the wording around Tourette's and it is a disability. It is a disorder. I personally don't use those words. That is only because I personally, I just don't like the connotation attached to those words. And I don't want to associate that with my condition. I always refer to Tourette syndrome as a condition or anything. The comorbidities, I always refer to them as a, as a condition. That might rub people the wrong way and that's fine. I'd love to hear your opinion. Absolutely. I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments. But that's just what I, that's, that's me. That's, that's, I, I'm a big believer in the power of language. And for me, those words have a negativity attached to them. Um, and so I don't want to attach that negativity to my condition. I've got so many ideas for this YouTube page, but I haven't been able to do them yet because I'm not at home and I've been on the road. So I'm just literally grabbing my phone and filming like a vlog style. But if you keep watching, subscribe, give me a follow, give me a like and keep watching because the ideas that I've got for this page are going to blow your mind. What should I do? <laughs> Any ideas? Any ideas that you've got of videos you want me to make? Anything you want me to see? Any topics you want me to cover or talk about or research or anything that we should learn together? Just chuck it in the comments. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like and I'll make a video specifically for you.